Hello, welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out from Ukraine that I want to share with you. We're going to be talking about Volodymyr Zelensky here in this video. And we have some news here that Volodymyr Zelensky has apparently invited Russia to the next Ukrainian peace summit. And this is a very big unexpected U-turn because what we were hearing previously was that Russia was not allowed to join any of these peace summits unless they were willing to give up the land that they've taken, okay, or at least give up some land. So we know that they've taken like the several regions on the eastern and southeastern portion of the country. So like the Donetsk region, Luhansk, Zaporizhia, Kherson regions, and then also they obviously uh, occupy Crimea right now as well, right? So Vladimir Zelensky was originally saying that Russia could not attend any of these peace summits. In other words, we don't want to uh, you know, we don't want to work with Russia in any kind of way. We'll figure out our own way to come to peace in Ukraine without negotiating directly with Russia. Well, now all of a sudden we're seeing the complete opposite, a complete 180 here, where Volodymyr Zelensky all of a sudden is okay with Russia coming to these, uh, these uh, sending a delegation to one of these meetings at a, at a Ukrainian peace summit coming up here very soon. They're supposed to be holding a second one probably here in the next few months. Um, so this is obviously a big development. And uh, we know that, that Russia's been trying to push for peace and, and a ceasefire in this war for a while now. Uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin just put out a ceasefire proposal not too long ago, uh, just roughly about maybe like two weeks ago or less. And uh, we know that Ukraine, along with the West, completely rejected that. Okay, So what we're seeing now is uh, we're starting to hear more and more reports coming out from Ukraine that they're being uh, forced and pushed down a path where they have to start uh, working towards peace, okay? Because we know that Ukraine is running out of troops right now. Um, we just did some reports on that here in the last week or so that uh, Vladimir Zelensky has come out many times and, and said they're, you know, they've got many dead and wounded on the battlefield and they can't continue fighting this war. He's also said that they're running out of time. So that most likely states that uh, they just don't have enough troops to continue fighting this war. And then also here in just the next, uh, what is that, about five months or so, four or five months, we could have a new um, president elect, okay? If uh, if Donald Trump ends up getting elected, he's already publicly uh, come out and stated that he would end this war as president elect before he even actually becomes president and inaugurated in January. So by the end of the year, we could have this war in Ukraine uh, forced, forcefully, excuse me, settled um, towards a path uh, with peace, okay? So I want to talk about this some more here with you. I've got an article pulled up here on Yahoo News, originally from The Telegraph. And it says Zelensky U-turns as he invites Russia to attend peace summit without giving up land. And this actually came out yesterday. Vladimir Zelensky has invited Russia to uh, the next peace summit, despite previously saying it could only join if it relinquished land in Ukraine. The Ukrainian president refused to invite Russia to the first peace summit in Switzerland last month to the consternation of, of some officials who questioned whether peace could be achieved without both parties present. On Wednesday, Mr. Zelensky appeared to soften his stance, acknowledging the possibility of a Russian delegation attending. And it says here, if the second peace summit has a plan to end the war and we have more countries, we will organize it and Russian representatives must be present. Who? We will see, Mr. Zelensky told Bloomberg News. On whether Vladimir Putin could attend, he said, I'm not sure. I think he's afraid to leave Russia. Is it possible that somebody else besides Putin comes? Maybe by this time there will be somebody else in the Kremlin. Then we will talk to somebody else. So this is obviously referring right here to the fact that uh, Vladimir Putin obviously has warrants out for his arrest right now. Um, he's not really allowed to leave to many other countries outside of Russia, okay? Because there's many countries that recognize the ICC, also known as the International Criminal Court, and they have a warrant for his arrest. So if he travels to some of these countries that uh, recognize the ICC, they could technically arrest him. And, uh, you know, obviously that's not something that Vladimir Putin would want, okay? So it says here, analysts largely derided the first Ukrainian organized peace summit as an attempt by the West to generate a show of support for Ukraine rather than actually find an end to the war. In the buildup to the Swiss peace summit, the Kremlin and its key ally China has also charmed, cohold, and pressured nations in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East into supporting a boycott. The summit ended with a vague promise of a follow-up meeting, but no concrete plans. Mr. Zelensky used his interview with Bloomberg to also turn down Putin's offer of a ceasefire, which he has previously described as a trap.
However, he suggested that the U.S. and China could act as intermediaries. There are many questions between the two, but if we want to end this war fairly for Ukraine and for the whole world, they have to find a stance to stop Putin. So this is something uh, that Vladimir Zelensky has come out many times and said that, you know, NATO needs to do whatever they can to give Ukraine as much weaponry as they possibly can to defend themselves. They've called for uh, Patriot missile systems to defend their country. You know, just imagine if they had uh, full coverage of Patriot missile systems in their country, they could probably defend from majority of these attacks and uh, that would probably help them greatly. And, and what, what more could Russia really do other than uh, launch waves of attacks on the ground if they were able to protect themselves from the skies? Okay, and we know they're also going to be getting F-16s here very soon as well. So we'll hear if we'll hear about that probably in the next month or so um, when they start getting them, if they're actually effective in helping out in this fight. Um, and we do know as well, I had some reports that came out today that uh, NATO was stating that they were going to continue funding this war for at least another year. OK, they were agreeing with all the nations of NATO that they would put out, I think it's something like 40 billion euros for Ukraine for the next at least 12 months to continue funding this war so we know that uh, that NATO will continue uh, paying for this war for at least another year um, but we'll have to see what happens here in the next few months because we know that in November we could have a completely different president as I mentioned uh, Donald Trump and he's again publicly stated many times that he'll have this war wrapped up and in the bag um, before before he even becomes president okay so there's lots of big developments going on with this story right now and uh, we'll have to see what happens here if uh, if Russia actually chooses to attend one of these meetings, I would think if uh, if Zelensky doesn't put any restrictions on their their uh, ability to join these peace summits, I would think Russia would go because many times as well, uh, Vladimir Putin has come out and stated that he wants to end this war. OK, I even had a report today that uh, that Vladimir Putin said that he wanted a a complete end and a final and end uh, to this conflict. OK, that he did not want to continue this fight anymore. So I'm sure even Russia's economy has, has been battered by this and taken a huge hit. But I thought it was interesting because I also saw some information stating that uh, their economy is also doing very well. So we're kind of hearing a two-sided story with that. But uh, yeah, obviously there's a lot of developments and information going on when it comes to this topic here. But we, but uh, just to recap, as we know, it uh, looks like Volodymyr Zelensky is going to be inviting Russia to the next Ukrainian peace summit. And this is a very big unexpected U-turn considering that before they were not willing to do this. So we'll have to see if Vladimir Putin actually wants to attend as well. But if not, it'll probably be some other uh, group of uh, type of Russian delegation coming from the Kremlin. So that's going to be it for this update, though. Just wanted to share this information with you. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.